Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered what web technologies different websites are using? I mean, are they using PHP? Are they using Node.js at the back end? Are they using React or Vue.js on the front end? Now I show you a Chrome extension called Webalizer. Helps you to find out what web technologies uh, different websites are using. It's very easy to use. If you watch this video, please subscribe if you haven't done it yet to this channel. Right, okay, so all you need to do is Google for Vaporizer, Vaporizer.com, and you will find this website. You can uh, download the Vaporizer Chrome extension to your computer, and as soon as you uh, install this Chrome extension, you will find a small icon up in the right top corner in your browser called Vaporizer, and if you click on it, you instantly see information about the website. Uh, for example, they are using a programming language, uh, Node.js, and they are using JavaScript frameworks, uh, Vue.js and Nuxt.js as well. Also, you can see that using, they are using Google Analytics for analytic uh, purposes, and as payment processor, they are using Stripe. And they are also using Amazon S3 and Webpack and Prism as well. Okay, let's just jump, for example, to GitHub page. If you want to check uh, what GitHub github.com uh, using, if you click on Webalizer, you can uh, instantly see that they are using Ruby as a program programming language and they are using Ruby on Rails as the framework of Ruby. They are also using uh, jQuery PJX for mobile, mobile framework. They are using jQuery as JavaScript library. They are using Google Analytics as well. As well. They are using WebSockets. And uh, it's a bit surprised me, but for UI frameworks, it says Bootstrap 5. They are using Bootstrap 5, which is not released yet. So I just uh, did a bit research. And on this uh, website, uh, I can see you can download Bootstrap uh, 5 uh, material design for Bootstrap 5. Maybe that's why it's uh, shown as Bootstrap 5, but uh, Bootstrap 5 is not released yet. And while I was here, I just checked what uh, what this website using as web technology. And as you can see, they are using a Nginx web servers. Uh, they are using PHP as programming language. Uh, and they are using WordPress basically at, as CMS system. Uh, they are using WooCommerce as well. They are using MailChimp. They are using MySQL as database. They are using uh, jQuery UI, jQuery. They are using Bootstrap 4.4 as front-end uh, CSS framework. They are using uh, for SEO Yoast, which is a WordPress uh, component. They are also using Google Analytics, Mozflow. And they are using Google Fonts API. So you can see all the information gathered from this website. Same, for example, if you go to the leadcode.com, if you check them, they, you can see that they are using programming language uh, Python. And they are using uh, Django for uh, Python as a framework. And on the front end, they are using AngularJS 1.2. 19 and on the front end they are also using bootstrap 3.3 as a front end css framework they are also using google analytics and cloudflare jquery jquery ui low dash select to so you can find out all these informations using this webalizer it doesn't work all on on all the websites but uh, most of the website you can you can find out what they are using for example if you go to the fiverr.com check it they are using cloudflare they are using ruby and the framework for ruby is ruby on rails and the front end javascript framework they are using react they are also using uh, jquery 2.1 low dash 4.17 so all this information is uh, available for you now if you go to the Laravel website of course they're gonna use php as a programming language and the fr uh, framework for that is laravel they're using uh, 
YouTube uh, APIs, they are using Google Analytics, they are using Cloudflare and jQuery and Algolia for uh, searching implementation. Okay, if you liked it, leave a like and that's it for this video today. Bye.